Everyone, welcome to a Pokemon news video where we're gonna update you with all the latest stuff that you need to know about the Pokemon universe right here on this channel. Let's get to it. First story, an important one that I think a lot of you people have been asking about and wondering about is this week's giveaway. Because of course, as you guys know, today is Sunday. Normally we swap out for another giveaway. However, in light of BD, uh, sorry, Pokemon Legends Arceus coming out and everybody being really preoccupied with that, I think a brand new giveaway might be a little difficult for people to try and manage to squeeze in in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we're going to continue the Generation 1 Shiny Sinnoh starters for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. This giveaway that's been going on for the last week is going to continue until next Sunday, so the second week. Um, I think it's also important because a lot of people also mentioned that they were not able to get their hands on these, sadly. Uh, so I think because it's three Pokemon, which we usually don't do for BDSP because of the systems being a little tricky. The second week is going to tie in very nicely for some of the people who still haven't gotten this and are also still busy with Pokemon Legends Arceus. So guys, you do still have a second week on all of the shiny starters here. Keep in mind they are still going automatically 24-7. There's five free bots, there's five member bots. The video for this is still available on my channel if you guys want to have a look and see how it all works if you're hearing about this for the first time. The Pokemon are all holding gold bottle caps, master balls and ability patches for the hidden abilities so you guys can get those for the items if not for the Pokemon so it's up to you guys again you have another week and then we'll be moving on to a new giveaway speaking of giveaways it looks like the systems for Pokemon Legends Arceus are in development and which we're going to be able to do distributions for shiny Pokemon that you can get in the game uh, obviously you can still find these naturally not too difficult as well in the game but it's gonna be nice to be able to do giveaways for these shinies because there's a lot of very nice shinies in here that are brand new uh, turn away now if you want to avoid spoilers but these are the shiny Pokemon of course the shiny forms that we're gonna be able to start doing giveaways for fairly soon guys I'm not gonna say we're able to do them straight away but uh, we will be able to get them done in the near future so that's gonna be really really cool guys drop a sub if you guys are interested in getting your hands on the shiny versions of these pokemon easily through link trades as you guys probably should know by now there is link trading in pokemon legends arceus and that means we're going to be able to do giveaways with them automatically and we're going to be able to include them in the cycle of games coming in the near future guys next story is a quick one about possible dlc for pokemon legends arceus specifically in april of this year it looks like the Pokemon Japanese Twitter here released a tweet saying that they're going to release the official Pokemon Legends Arceus guidebook in April, okay? And why in April, you might ask? That's quite a long way away, considering the game is out now in January, right? Why would it be released in April? Well, the question might have something to do with DLC. Now, we're going to go have a look at Riddler Koo here, who I think now we can afford quite a bit of credibility to after he's managed to interpret a lot of the Chinese Riddler stuff completely correctly, which was translating from Chinese into English. So very, very useful source for, I suppose, middleman, middlemaning the actual sodded leaks from the Chinese Riddler, uh, which is always in Chinese. So this guy uh, actually got a lot of the stuff correct interpreting interpreting the Chinese Riddler stuff almost everything correct which was incredible and he's now talking about DLC for Pokemon Legends Arceus in April DLC soon and so on and so forth and he talks about April somewhere here in my only hint for April and things like this right now April okay so <laughs> here it is now yeah it really is alluding to the DLC for Pokemon Legends Arceus coming in April, guys. That is something that would make sense considering the huge delay in the officially releasing the official guidebook so late after the game has been released. It's way too late after that stage, but I guess they might want to include the DLC material and have a reason to be able to push sales for the guidebook too, which will be in April for DLC, which is pretty soon for DLC considering. So that's pretty nice. But another thing that if we do do get DLC in April, another thing that points to is that we're not going to be getting Gen 9 this year. We might start hearing announcements around the time where we'd expect the release to be, but we're not going to be getting the release. We're just going to be getting the announcements and then we might be getting the game Gen 9 at some point next year. However, you can definitely be certain that development for Gen 9 is well underway, if not nearly finished, because they do these things way, way, way in advance, years in advance, as we know for Pokemon Sword and Shield leaks and all that stuff. That started back in 2016. Yeah, I know, I know. So, Gen 9 is possibly next year, 2023, 
with the announcement starting this year, uh, later this year, usually where we would get information about its release coming out. So there you have it, folks. Possible DLC, very, very possible DLC for April for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Final little piece of news is History and Voltorb is the first Pokemon Legends Arceus Pokemon made available in Pokemon Go, and it's available now. I got my hands on quite a few. It doesn't look like you can evolve them yet. I don't know why that's the case, but it is now available to catch in Pokemon Go for anyone who does play Pokemon Go. And there's quite a, there's a two tier, two levels of quests for doing this as well, with a high chance of getting a shiny normal Voltorb on top of a couple of the history and Voltorbs as well. So enjoy that, guys. All right, that's going to be it for today's Pokemon news. Hopefully you liked what you heard. Very exciting stuff, really, really. I'm really looking forward to seeing where we go with the giveaways for Legends Arceus too, because there's so many brand new Pokemon Ah, oh, that's going to keep us busy for a long time. And I'm also open to hearing about news for BDSP. There's still loads of stuff unfinished in that game. And I mean, I can't imagine they're going to leave it much later. I mean, we must be getting something next month. I'm shocked and appalled we didn't get anything this month. Home or GWS or any events for the, the Pokemon Arcus or Darkrai or Shaman. I'm shocked, honestly. So it has to be next year. Has to be. If it's not... We can just rest in peace for that company, alright? I don't know, man. But either way, guys, drop us up if you're new. I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, bye!